Alright then, so hello everyone, and welcome back to Mega Man X Hard Type by Heart Hunt. Uh, so I'm going to Armored Armadillo next, because personally I found Spark Mandrill the boss fight to be really hard and vanilla compared to the other ones, so... Even though that one's also labeled Veteran, I feel like this is somewhat a clear choice here. Oh, somebody... oh wait, that's a platform. <laughs> Well, uh, I can tell that these platforms are probably not going to play to my strengths all that much, but... Dash jump! Okay, had a feeling. I <laughs> I know from vanilla that those things tend to troll you if you stay on them for too long. And I figured the trend would continue and to probably even be magnified here. Those guys don't have very good aim. Okay. Gotta get through the spikes here. Can't jump too high either. Thankfully, the invincibility frames uh, mean if the bats hit me, I don't instantly die from the spikes. It might be helpful if I dash jump off of there. Alright. Oh. Oops. Uh, <laughs> missed the jump button. It would help if I got behind that guy, I bet. I wonder if he's an instant kill or really powerful or. Ow. My face. Alright, take care of those guys. <laughs> that guy's kind of in my face. There we go. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to get past this bass without damage. Can any of these things help? The leg there is uh, messing with me a bit. Oh, rats. Can't actually make that. I guess maybe I do have to get behind him because. Ah, oh, oops. Messed up. I thought that was where the birds came. Alright, now that I can get back over there, oh, he responds. That doesn't help at all. Alright, so if I shoot them before I, uh, make it to the end... Ah, oh, rats. Man, these spikes are instant death, pretty much, just like in the original Mega Man. Alright, good, so if I kill that guy before I make it to the end... That's too relatively little damage. Still not as little as in vanilla, but... You know, ow, what? I can still get hit by that? It's just like a stump. Oh no. Do I actually have to? Yeah, it looks like I can't make it anywhere now. Dash jump? No. Okay, so I actually do have to be somewhere else. I have to go faster, or get on top of that guy if that's possible. Didn't look like it was possible. <laughs> yeah, let's catch up too early or else the bat gets me. The only way I can think to make that jump is to do a dash jump, but that's gonna be hard to set up. I mean, d dash wall jump, obviously. It's obviously a dash jump, there's not much to say about that. Yeah, he's fast. If only there was a way to get him to slow down. 
I wouldn't be surprised if there was something, and I just don't know what it is, but... I still want to back up there before we go. But I can't do that. bats around. <laughs> that little la bit of lag at the start messes me up royally too. Because it just lags for a moment when I want to do something and I'm just about to move and lag spike kicks in and I just try to jump when I'm at the wrong moment. It's so hard to get myself just barely off the edge like that. I want to go through that area done. Oh, I almost had it too. But no, I can't make it across there, and I can't make it up without the guy. And without the platform, the guy doesn't help me at all. Sometimes he's, he starts the falling animation, but if you go back too quickly, then he, he'll uh, stand back on the platform somehow instead of clinging to the wall. Makes this a great deal harder than it should be. Ah, oh, spikes. Oh, random met, or whatever they're called up here. That's not very threatening. Neither were the bats. Oh, well, I landed on his face. That doesn't work so well. Alright. This is another tight spike jump. No! Oh, I, hit the, I hit the dash button at the wrong moment. <coughs> I still don't feel like I'm very close to a checkpoint. Plenty of time there. Alright, let's take another stab at this part. At least I've got a hit by the spikes this time. Take that net. I know you're there now. Yeah, just keep mashing the button. <laughs> Those guys uh, go down pretty nicely to that. Alright. Oh no, what's beyond there? I have a feeling I'm just gonna jump and then not see something coming and then die. I figured there would be a bat up there, so I... Uh, narrow ceiling. So I kinda gotta slip in there and probably wanna get on the wall. Oh, uh, this is actually floor, which is more forgiving than I was expecting. There we go. Even if I hit the ceiling there, I think I probably might have been... No, I would have lost my dash, because I would have tried to cling onto the wall, and that would have been bad news. Alright, <laughs> this almost looks like it's gonna shoot something, like flamethrowers or something, I don't know, but it seems to just be part of the ceiling. The wheel actually makes it easier, because if I hit the wheel instead of the spikes, I could <laughs> invincibility damage through that without getting
getting murder faced by the spikes. Oh no, I don't want another speed segment. I'll, uh, I'm not getting one apparently because I just jumped off. Perhaps that was a good thing, perhaps that was a bad thing. I'm not sure whether I made the right choice at this very moment. Goodbye, minor guy. Okay. I can make that, so we're fine. I have a feeling that if I took the mine cart, there's a good chance I'd die at the end somehow. But now I'm finally making some progress. It, the difficulty seems to have slowed down a bit. Oh no, I, yeah, I definitely needed to be on the minecart. Hopefully I uh, respawn before it? No. Right, all the way back to the start. I notice that if I uh, am quick at moving to the right, I can avoid that lag spike at the start. And that helps a lot. Like if I have dash when I'm moving to the right initially, I get to avoid the lag spike. And the lag spike is the most dangerous spike out of all of these. <laughs> bad puns, bad puns. I should be ashamed of myself. In fact, I think you should all unsubscribe and stop watching this video immediately for that one. Oh, yeah, this is the last one. As long as I just don't jump too high, I'm fine there. It's not very tight on the low end, that's for sure, so... It's hard to go too low. Well, I wasn't meaning to HP farm there, but I suppose I accidentally did. These guys aren't so bad, but when I get to that minecart segment that scares me, because it's fast and... It's fast. <laughs> Don't jump off like a tard this time. Alright, now hopefully I'm supposed to jump forward and not anything weird. Alright, I can just damage boost through those guys, because they're just bats. Okay. Okay, uh, I recognize this spot from vanilla. I ish recognize this spot. Hmm, yeah, almost seems like there might be something here, but there really isn't, so... No. Hope... I think there's a checkpoint there, is there not? Yeah. Okay. That spot was uh, still recognizable enough for me to actually realize that. Alright. Well, that wasn't the way to go about that. So I could just damage boost through those spikes, I bet. Is that how I'm supposed to do it? it? Doesn't seem like it, but if it works, it works. Well, I won't be able to damage boost through the spikes if I take a hit here, that's for sure. Hmm. What do I do about that? I didn't want to continue on anyway. I don't want to leave it that, that HP power up if I don't have to. I like I sort of like that the HP power ups are not hard to find, but sort of like mini little challenges to get them. It's kind of neat how it's different from the other power ups in that way. The first time I realized that my mistake was uh, going too close to the left at the start. I was uh, already in a bad position from the beginning when I was uh, just da starting to dash by that guy. He's just gonna make a mess of that ceiling there. Still can't make that. It's closer, but I can't. <laughs> Closest is nothing worth any. It's not worth anything there. Oh wow, I can actually make it on top of that right away. Don't hit the ceiling, and up, and don't hit the bat. Yay, HP power up, and now I'm dead. <laughs> Works for me, though. Permanent HP power up in return for a temporary HP loss. 
Now I just gotta get through this one again. That's how I do it. That's how you get through this one again. The longest time. Wow. I keep making it and thinking I'm not going to, so I end up jumping around like an income poop. Get to a weird space. I'm still kind of tricky for that second jump because you can't hit the wall floor. Wow, plenty of time there. Plenty of time to spare. Oh, wow, that's not how I do it. <laughs> I got hurt by the spike in my own minecart. Well, I'm probably gonna die. Yep. Well, it's not a probably anymore. I gotta dash jump off that thing. Alright, so it doesn't look like I can spawn the bats, I just have to go for it. Dash jump, and... wow, that was too late. I should probably go the... I should probably err on the side of hitting the ceiling rather than on the side of hitting the spikes. Wow. As uh, hilarious as it is that I managed to wall jump off the side of that thing without getting hurt by the spikes, it didn't amount to much. Other episodes weren't too long, per se, but... Oh, brass. Getting hit by the bats is no big deal. Getting hit by the spikes is, is terrible. That didn't work so well. I'm still seeing that bad. It's not gonna help me, unfortunately, because the bats are spawned. Wait on that wall for a little bit longer. Whoa! Alright, this time I know that I'm silly not to take the minecart. You're probably gonna kill me anyway, but... Whoa, that's not... That wasn't a good move. The minecart will probably respawn those. So let's go back. Yeah, stop laughing at me. You're not the one who has to ride in the minecart. Insert Kefka's laugh noise for these minor guys. I think, Hard Hunt, you should hack that in. It would definitely make a great addition. Alright, shoot all the birds. Hey, I'm almost to the ba- ow. My face. I shouldn't have spoke. Really shouldn't have spoke. Well, I'm not going back to that thing. It's best to snipe down as many birds as I can right away. Oh wow, that was actually really forgiving, surprisingly. I was expecting Heart Hunt to be a douche about that, but there was actually plenty of room. Which makes me wonder, is there something back there? Do I want to know if there's something back there? Well, I should respawn out here afterwards, but I don't know if I've hit the checkpoint until I go into the door. So I'm going to go in the door, and when I die... Not if, when I die, <laughs> I'll uh, go back and figure it out and see if there's anything back there. Uh, it'll clearly be inaccessible, probably, but... Alright, your stage is smaller now. Ow. Alright, before it was just kind of, uh, pelting you with the stuff was a good idea, but I bet your AI has changed somewhat now. Wow, I actually did some reasonable, well, not reasonable, but appreciable amount of damage before oh, I spawn in here. Oh, there goes that plan. But it's also better than restarting for something that I'm 90% certain would have failed. Alright, you're gonna start with a rolly thing. You actually get phased by that attack. Ow! Okay. If you hit me with that, I... I can't really dodge that now, can I? really not expecting another weapon to help. I could always try shooting him with something random like the sea sting, but... I 
Actually, to be fair, it is seeming to get past the shield a little, but not that it's helping me much. Alright, can I start off with one of these blasts? Well, not like that, I can't. Those shots seem to go a little bit faster. Maybe it just feels that way because the room's smaller, though. Ow. Oh wow, I suppose something between, but that doesn't seem very helpful. I swear your shots are faster. Did you alter that in between those? It's hard to, like, if I jump over them, it doesn't work, but I'm just pretty good at it. Let's just try this to confirm it doesn't do, like, a million damage somehow. I mean, it could have made sense because he was an armadillo, but... We get triggers that attack almost. Okay, wow, that just totally pierces his defenses, it seems. But I'm out, so it only helps a little bit. It's the middle of the stage like that. Getting hit by those thunderbolts. Let's see if Storm Tornado's good. Didn't even hit him before. No, no, that didn't do anything. I blame Storm Tornado, it sucks. <laughs> I think it needs a buff. Not good enough. Oh, in fact, it does. But it's kind of a similar problem. It takes a moment to shoot the thing, so I can't really dodge his lightning bolts if I use it. Just hide up here when he's too close to center for me. I wish we that move. I'm never good at dodging that one either. Hitting a weakness in you, as in the earlier Mega Man, so it is uh, just getting past his defenses. Alright, so he seems to alternate between I can stay in the middle and have to stay on the edge. That's good to know. He actually goes to start his roll. I'm too slow to dodge it. But unfortunately, he shoots a random number of shots, so I can't really get any mileage out of predicting it. one of the most exploitable bosses I felt before, so <laughs> it's cool that he's actually difficult now. Alright, so he doesn't do that little hop. He doesn't do that before he shoots, obviously. So I should... I've been focusing so much on the shots, that, on dodging the shots, that I haven't been paying enough attention to him when he does that, but maybe I should. How hard Spark Mandrill's gonna be, because he was definitely the one I found the hardest before. Alright, you're back up against the wall, with shotgun ice your face. That 
does a lot of damage if I hit him every time with it. Yeah, perhaps I'll go turtle mode and see how all well this works. Might as well at least give it its fair day at a shot. Oops. And he just rams the wall like that, I have to be careful. Two HP every time he does that, but of course I, that's all I've got. seems to be acting like a turd, which I shouldn't say because that's when I just know him. He's going to come back and beast me somehow. One more shot, and this will have actually gone pretty decently, I think. Got him! Nice! <laughs> okay, turtle mode was the solution. Definitely wanted to stick to those walls and not try to shoot him when he did the electricity. Kind of the opposite of vanilla, really, I find, because uh, in vanilla I wanted to stay at the bottom and just try to avoid that. Just try to kill him as fast as possible and make him use his rolly attack as little as possible. But the arena actually changes it up so it's easier to dodge the rolly attack, but harder to dodge the electricity attack. Because the rolly attack gets more predictable, but the electricity attack, uh, you don't have enough time to dodge it. So yeah, that was that was a really nice stage. Uh, once I got the hang of it, there was some really solid platforming in there, like the speed segments were pretty cool. It's a little bit of trial and error on minecarts, but I don't mind, there wasn't enough to be a nuisance, that's for sure. I don't mind a little bit of trial and error gameplay, as long as it's mixed in with the... well, and it really was there, so... And I bet for someone who's a boss like Hard Hunt could probably just do that without the trial and error almost, but... Alright, that's another one down. That went pretty nicely, except for the fact that I missed all the stuff again, except the hit tank. <laughs> I seem to be falling into a pattern with that, but... You know, when some... Hmm, I wonder if behind the first guy... But because there was room behind the first guy. I gotta go back and check that. The first, by guy, I mean the rolly tank. I kind of just shortened that to guy for some reason. I don't know why. That's like the lamest nickname for an enemy ever, but... I mean, at, at most, that kind of defines his character trait as being male. But even that, guy can even be used gender in specifically half the time anyway. I've got enough practice at that part. Apparently I haven't got enough practice at that part. Alright. Just gonna go down. And I swear I got past him before like that, but... Fuck the wall. Now let's see, is there anything behind you? Aha! Found a thing! I, I actually found something! It's amazing! Let's dash back and forth in celebration.